Swindon Supermarine are back to winning ways after beating Mangotsfield 3-2 this evening and Dave Webb, the manager of Swindon Supermarine, joins me now to discuss the win. Dave, thanks for joining me. No Job done tonight, back to winning ways. Yeah, yeah I'm really pleased. You know, um, it, it was, you know, we've had a, uh, a lot of football recently. You know, this is our sixth game um, in three weeks. You know, we've been Saturday back uh, midweek. So it, it's, it's, it's hard and the, the players are, are tired. You know, you could tell that and... Um, you know, but, you know, looking at the six games, you know, we've won three of those, lost two and drawn one. And we've played some good sides in that. So, you know, we've we've done we've come out of that spell well. And it was really, really important tonight after losing back to back games that we that we went that we won. And, you know, I've just said to the players in there, you know, what have we achieved tonight and a lot of blank faces and probably 30 seconds of silence before someone said we won. And, and that's exactly it. You know, we've, we needed to win tonight. It didn't matter how we did it. We needed to win that game. And um, with a couple of, you know, key defenders missing through injury, um, you know, we've had to change things around slightly tonight. Just try to think in what they would play as well. And as it turned out, they did really only play one up. So it was probably right to do what we did. But we changed back to our, our normal formation after going in front. And... Um, you know, Connor Warden's come off the bench and done really, really well for 20 minutes and set up Ryan Stannis for the crucial third goal. And as it's turned out, uh, conceding another soft penalty in injury time, um, it was enough to get us over the line. So I'm really pleased that we got that third goal and uh, we've got three points. And it, it was really important for us tonight that we managed to get that win. Certainly, obviously, coming into this game off the back of two defeats, then you actually concede first tonight. What were you thinking when that ball went in the back of the net? Um, well, lots of thoughts go through your head. You, 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 you're just wondering, you know, it was a little bit soft. You know, we, we th I thought we should have dealt with the ball better. But, um, you know, as I say, it, it was, you know, the, the only player that played in that back three that's been playing, obviously Carl Lappin's a very experienced player. and But, he's, you know, he's, he's been, on the, been on the bench quite a lot recently. So, you know, it, it's very, very tough to come into a game and get back up to get up to speed quickly. But... Um, you know, the first 15 minutes, we were a little bit, little bit uh, all at sea. Uh, not just in that area, we, 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 were, we were just all at sea and we were getting used to what we'd asked the players to do. It was a different shape, playing 3-5-2. Um, but we, we improved and, you know, once we, we, we made a little tactical switch at the back after about 20 minutes, which, which seemed to settle all three of them down. So after that, it did improve. Um, but it is difficult, but as I say, we've lost, you know, no Ross Adams tonight, no Ryan Morgan. You know, obviously Ryan Morgan, young, young left-sided, um, been playing left-back since we lost Luke Matthews and uh, he's done exceptionally well. And, you know, it, it just unbalanced us a little bit tonight, not having anybody naturally left-sided left, left -sided defender to put in. But, uh, you know, we've, we've done enough, you know, and, and that's, that's what it's all about tonight. You know, we, we can play a lot better, we know that, um, but... You know, when you get to this stage of the season, it's not about playing playing well all the time. It's about results, and that's what we've come through tonight with a with a vital three points. And you know, hopefully, see how, see how the other results have gone when we get in the bar. And and hopefully, you know, as I say, we just look at the next game now. We're not we're not even thinking. I've just said, you know, we've got ten games, nine games now. You know, what, how many points do we need? Don't worry, just just keep trying to win every game, and and that's what we're going to try and do. And so going back to the injury problems, have you got any news on Ryan Morgan's injury? He well, obviously went to hospital after the game on, on Saturday evening when he got back from um, Winchester. He was in a lot of pain. So spent um, till five o'clock Sunday morning, I think, he got out. And uh, they're not quite sure yet. It could be muscular. It could be, it could be a disc uh, in his back. We're not, we're not quite sure. So he's, on, he's here tonight. He's on crutches. Um, and he look, he, although he's pain free, he's not he's not moving too freely. So um, we wish him a speedy recovery. You know, he's only he's only a young player, 17 years of age, got a very bright future, and I'm sure he will hopefully be back this season. You know, we, until he gets properly um, assessed, we, we're not going to really know the extent of that. Ross Adams obviously is a hamstring, um, which went you know didn't thankfully it's not gone, but he, he was very very tight and sore after Saturday. So. You know, with with obviously another game coming this weekend, um, you know Ross was too much of a risk tonight, so we we decided not not to risk him. Um, the last thing I want to do is lose Ross Adams for four to six weeks with a hamstring. So you know, hopefully the extra rest that he's got this week will will mean he'll be okay for Saturday. And so with all the injuries that you're struggling with at the moment, will you be looking to bring anyone in? Uh, we we are looking to bring bring one in, um, uh, a young a young lad called Tyrone Lee. Um, 
you know, had a very bright, still very young player, so naturally left-sided defender. So with with the injuries and obviously the games that we've got left, um, we were already taught in a tie before before uh, the last weekend. So you know, it's, it's, it was going to happen anyway. But as it's turned out, with a couple of injuries that we've picked up, um, it's probably a good good thing that we are hopefully getting getting him in. Um, I'm not sure if he's, he was due to be here tonight to do the paperwork. Um, hopefully he's still here and we can get that completed this evening. Um, but yeah, he, he's keen to come and join us and um, we're looking forward to getting him. He hasn't played a lot of football recently, so we're not sure on how fit or um, his, obviously his match fit, fitness won't be there, but he's a young player, so hopefully it won't take him too long to get up to speed. Brilliant, Dave. One cup final down, nine to go. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.